Hi everyone, good Thursday morning. Just got back from Triple Tree last night and just wanted to share some things with you and put a challenge out there for everybody. So not unlike a lot of the other fly-ins we've been going to, one of the things that really stood out is, I think I'm one of the youngest guys there. Probably not, but at the end of the day, it is an aging crowd. So I've got an idea. How about Saturday? All of you out there, the weather's supposed to be gorgeous in the Southeast. Let's see how many young aviators, young eagles, younger people interested in aviation, we can get to Triple Tree for Saturday. I've already volunteered. I'm gonna take hopefully three kids from the Ron Alexander Youth Program back up in the tent on Saturday. So maybe we can all get together there Saturday lunch or something and get a picture of everybody who does that. I think we ought to just swell the Triple Tree crowd with young aviators. What do you say to that? A couple other things came up at Triple Tree I thought I'd share with you. First off, we must have had 100 conversations with everybody, and I bet 97 of them were asking, where's the helicopter? So actually, I'm going to try and take time tomorrow, Friday, and fly the helicopter, the hummingbird, which you've all seen in prior videos, back up to Triple Tree for the day. So uh, hopefully, we'll spend some time talking about the helicopter tomorrow as well. And it'll be by the pond. Yeah, it should be right there, front and center, by the pond. I think that's where they've been landing all the helicopters, so uh, you shouldn't have to look for it. Helicopters can't exactly sneak in anyway. Another couple conversations came up at Triple Tree. It's really nice to sit around and talk to everybody and, and you don't understand what's going on with their airplanes. And of course I get uh, asked a bunch of questions about some of the columns I write and some of the videos we do. And a common theme, especially for those of you flying new airplanes, I keep getting asked is, hey, my cylinder head temps, I'm really having a hard time chasing them and trying to cool them down. Uh, I felt really bad for a young gentleman up there with his son who just finished an RV-14, and he was kind of frustrated because the cylinder head temps were running 410. Kind of looked at him and I said, go fly your airplane. There's absolutely nothing wrong with 410 on Lycoming engines. Matter of fact, I'll share with you, you know, when they certify these Lycoming engines, they have to run them for 150 hours at max power, nonstop, with everything maxed out, all the temps, all the pressures, everything. And it's got to do that without failure. Lycoming cylinders actually have a 5,000 choke in the top. So it works better when the warmer it is, not within limits. Lycoming, I actually spent time with the engineers on the team uh, up at Lycoming this past summer. And between 400 and 430 is actually optimal for Lycoming cylinders in cruise flight. Way back in 2000, when I built an RV-6, Lycoming had just come out with their version of electronic ignition called Lazar. <clears throat> Many of you may have it or have heard of it. You know, if you put the cylinder head temp probe feedback loop into that brain box, it actually kept advancing the timing to keep the cylinder head temps at 435. And you know, no matter what we did to try and cool that engine down, 435. Well, 1,800 hours go by on that engine, and the second owner had a prop strike, so it required a teardown. That was one of the cleanest Lycomings I've ever seen. So again, you know, you get the choke, you get the temperatures up, uh, the, the rings are going to seat better against the cylinders, you're going to have less blow-by, that means less corrosive gases inside the crankcase, better efficiency, and uh, it's perfectly fine. A lot of bad uh, news or information out there on the internet. So I thought I'd share that with all of you because, you know, for every one, there's probably 10 more out there that are chasing down something they really don't need to do. Go fly the airplane. Okay. Hope that answers some questions on CHT. And again, I look forward to seeing hopefully a whole bunch of you Saturday noon triple tree with some young aviators. Take care.